Hey guys, welcome back. Screen Reaper coming at you for another video of Fresh Shadows. So hopefully, you're doing well, looking after yourselves, uh, having a great start to the week and stuff like that. I think we're in the middle of the week now, so uh, the weekend is it's not coming fast enough for us, is it really? But I'm pretty sure Playroom have got some plans for us to keep us busy right now. A quiet period, the fusion just ending. So now it's time to prepare for our next one, right? Which we know is going to be a big, big fusion now it wouldn't surprise me if it's quite a difficult fusion as well so i'd say be ready for it i basically just skipped this fusion on my main and i feel quite relieved because now i get to skip this uh soul stone event right overall do i think you should go go for the soul i think why not uh it's a bit diff difficult to get but i think if you've got resources stuff like that you should definitely try and get the soul so yeah i recommend to go and to get that so Anyway, let's get into today's video. Today's video is we're on Tuggy's account today from QC or SP, as you might know us. Uh, a big shout out to him for allowing me to borrow his account for this. Really do appreciate it. I do have his champion on my account, but she's not uh, booked or anything like that or mastered. So it's like trying to invest in champions like outside C C and stuff like that is a bit slim. So yeah anyway let's go into it so today i've been wanting to cover this champion for a while it's queen eva uh she's recently just had a buff and i kind of just want to take her for a spin in arena and see what she can do and see if it's any big improvements and really i've had a lot of people ask me for this video i've had a lot of people ask me and how i feel about queen eva so i suppose after this video you're going to know um what my experience is like with her now and she worth investment box and masteries etc etc so we do have on the a1 we have tackle to one enemy she has a 75 percent chance of placing heal reduction now this can be increased to a hundred percent chance of placing a heal reduction and a block debuff for two turns it has an extra 15 percent of a uh, chance of inflicting um inflicting critical damage um so yeah pretty cool you're gonna have to build a with like 85 critical damage if i'm not mistaken so attacks one enemy two times uh 50 percent chance ha yeah one attacks one enemy two times 50 percent chance of target defense as a 15 extra critical damage uh with her as well so attacks all enemies this cannot uh kills enemy is killed by the skill cannot be revived so this is also booked up on four turns uh, so this is on a free turn cooldown. It's pretty low to be honest. Uh, so yeah, single revive, block revive. This is gonna make a how difficult to take her on in Curse City. So yeah, eighty five percent. And then suppose if you use all, it's even lower. Tax all enemies decreases the target to me to a twenty. Uh, resets the cooldowns on this champion. Uh, on this skill, champion skill, if any targets is killed, has a fifty percent. Uh, with a 15% encrypted damage, critical rate damage, critical damage hit, right? You know what I mean? Uh, and then we, this is going to be on a four turn cooldown, so that's a fully reset. Now, she's great for uh, farming brutal, and that's about it before the buff. Attack is quite reasonable, actually, 1600, uh, and then uh, the speed of 101. Uh, speed is pretty average, uh, fairly okay. Attack's quite high and reasonable, so. Yeah, let's go do a damage test on her with Dragon. And then we're going to take an arena, I'll show you the builds and stuff like that. I will go and ping all the stuff down below. If you want to skip the damage test and to see the arena and the builds, you can more or less. But I would say don't skip it because you might miss some key things I might put throughout this video or some hints and tricks and stuff. Okay, so we are back. We are on the Dragon 25 on normal. We're going to do a damage test with Lydia and Arbiter, so we're going to bring the defense down, the weaken, and the attack, just like you would in the arena, just to kind of see what's going on in here, and to see really uh, if it's uh, worth this investment, all right, let's see what all the hype is about, so uh, we'll do a damage test on this, uh, and see what's, see what's what, I'm going to put this on 1x speed once we get to Eva's kit, so we're going to do the attack up, increase defense, or weaken. Uh, everyone's got it on, that's good. Uh, now we're going to slow this down. 
uh let's come in with the block revive so this will ignore the highest defense so ideally you're hitting person with the highest defense i found there's a tap base he's hp base so we can possibly hit him i mean 220 to 210 is pretty amazing that's a big hit man all right let's do the next one then that's pretty damn big, isn't it, really? All right, let's see what's the A2 about. We've still got increased attack. 160, 170, pretty average. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's pretty average. Let's uh, see what A1's doing. Mm. I get an increased attack back up. Slow it down. 160 i mean they're all hitting fairly fairly well in all fairness so yeah i mean that's pretty damn nice we have got a really good build on that obviously we're taking uh the harvest as well so harvest will give us a little bit of extra damage for like the what the bolster and the increased attacks that give you one percent damage it's a one percent maybe two i can't remember for five star we, we can go ahead and take a look at that once we do the builds uh, once I show you the build, so let's go into the arena. We are just under Platinum Arena, we're not too far off. We've got some big teams here, uh, and we're gonna see and how she does. So, we've got quite a tanky team here. There's no really DPS here, so uh, we're gonna bring in uh, Duchess for obviously attack up. We're gonna bring him for CC, uh, and then we've got Necrid to protect the queen now because she is a bit squishy, like most attack nukers, it's hard to keep them alive, uh, and that's just like the just to think with them, you know, they hit fairly hard, most of them, and, and uh, it could be a little bit of a problem, right? So we're going to go ahead and try sheep um, him, which is super nice. Then we're going to put the ally protection on him and protect him against Mafala. Uh, we've got the increased attack here. So everyone's stunned. We're going to go for Mafala with the E2. Uh, 140, and that was just the one hit. The second hit didn't make it because she didn't survive it. So uh duchess won't be able to lift her up that's actually pretty nice i faced either a little bit in live arena not too much but honestly i think if you don't have many options and if she hits fairly hard and you have the utility i think she could be a great option you do see your foley's and stuff every now and again uh 80 to 90k on the aoe there which is pretty nice um it's a case of do you open up the A2 or the A3, which is something you want to kind of consider. We want all the ghost second teams, really, as we have a ghost second team set up. Mm, Horus and Marishka could be an interesting one to try in a minute. Um, I think she's a great counter to Monkey, so let's go ahead and show you what she can do against Monkey. Uh, obviously, Monkey, one of the most meted champions in the game right now. In Rachel Legends, obviously a lot of people have him. He's mostly used champion in gold and silver for Live Arena uh, at the moment. So if you have like a big counter to him and you can't take him because you're in gold or something like that, that will be huge, right? Especially when he can throw off your stuff on his kit. So we're going to go ahead here. We're going to do a bit of damage to um, Pythion. We do need to take out Pythion there. That could be a squishy Pythion. We didn't have increased attack on us either, so that's worth pointing out. Okay, so we've got Bolster to kind of worry about here. Let's see, an increased defense. Uh, he's pretty squishy, 120. Nice, nice, nice. Pyfe Young won't be able to do much with that. And he's like so. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do the AoE again. We'll get sheeped. We love being sheepified. It's the best ability in Raid Shard Legends right now, the Sheep of Fire, you know what I mean? Uh, then we're going to do the AoE. So you can see that she cycles through the abilities really, really well. Uh, like 58 seconds against a fairly tanky team. That's quite good. Once I can't complain of that too much. Uh, uh, what do we want to use Taurus and Mariska? That could be a very painful experience, but I suppose this is what you're here for, right? 
We're here to test out the comp. This is not the best team against Taurus and Mushka. Uh, so depending on how they're built, if we can win this or not. But if we get the block revive off, that'll be pretty strong, to be fair. It's a case of can we keep uh, Taurus and the door Taurist uh, busy, basically. So we're going to go ahead and sheep. Get a strip here. There we are. And then I'm going to put this out. We're going to put the increased attack up. Let her do her thing. Now, because we've protected, we'll do the AOE stun. So just protect us a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Then we're going to go from Mariska. 177. So she does go down. Uh, like there is a couple of champions that can survive that in all fairness, and obviously, uh, we didn't survive that, so it is what it is. Mm, I think as well, we, the shield already propped on the Ahmad's here. I pronounce his name, so I think that could also be the case there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and sleep. Uh, let's do the ally protection, and then we can put some more protection back up on Alpha there. Mm -mm -mm. So you can see that actually she's with the right setup. She's very versatile, even against the meta teams if used correctly. Obviously, we're being a little bit lucky here because there's no stone skin or anything like that. Uh, so, and now Rand is quite powerful, isn't it? Really. Uh, that's just been sheep twice. Have we got six star sheep in here? Oh, yeah, one on the Taurus. Okay. Uh, it is what it is, I suppose. Deal with this the best that we can. Block revive on Sifi. 1 2 there. 102. And then hopefully we can sheep out of this. We'll put the uh, thing up here. I think we will might die in second. They get to go for us. So it depends. Wow, her. That hurt. Uh, I think. Let's leave the revive. I think we're going to get hit again. Okay. So we did quite well, right? And then it just fell apart towards the end. So we could definitely beat this team if we wanted. To be honest, we lose this because we got sheeped, right? Got sheep twice on the champions. Uh, you're gonna lose it pretty much. We get sheep. So there is free sheep here. In all fairness, I didn't see that the first time. Uh, so you could definitely be smarter picks there. Um, mm -mm, King, we have a Tormund down here. That's pretty cool. So we have a Tormund. It has a quite a funny revive as well. So we're gonna go out and try this one. I think she's, yeah, I think she's amazing. Count now. I think she's definitely very versatile right now. Just got to give Foley a buff now. Hopefully. That's the one I want to see buffed. Foley. Because if they buff Foley, my plus two Foley. Oh, yes, please. My Queen Eva is also a plus two, but I haven't bulked her or anything yet. Uh, but this is making me consider if I, uh, a booker, I'm probably gonna book her now. I couldn't see why not. She's definitely much better than just a campaign farmer. So I think if you're early game for a free to play or low spender and you don't have the biggest of roasters, I think she's a very viable nuker. Um she's definitely more meta now than a lot of the free to play um spirit legendary nukers like Cleo and uh Yannicka, which breaks my heart to say Yannicka because i love Yannicka. my first ever legendary on that account my account uh we have another monkey down here so we're gonna go try this one we have in harmony as well so obviously my team is go second so we're sticking to go second team so i'm gonna try to take on any speed teams because it doesn't make any sense really and if we can find a couple of uh marishka teams a second we'll go ahead and try them out Again, we'll go for the block revive on Monkey. 
really, really effective. We'll go ahead to cheaper. Oh, Amafala is weak. Wow. Very weak. Amafala. Mm. Interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Go ahead, knock him down. Mm. Do this one. AoE. I think this guy myself personally is very very strong, but I wouldn't be too upset if player wanted to nerve him in all fairness. I think he's just too strong. Mm. Or instead of nerving him, I think what the better thing to do is actually just bring someone in here who can counter sheep. Because right now just him and sheep overall are just crazy crazy. So I'd love to see a counter right now to sheep. I find sheep more annoying than UDK, Stone Skin, Swift Perry, all that kind of stuff that's it's come out, you know. Uh we have a rose down here, but it doesn't look like it's a good team. So not too great of teams. So we have a Taurus down here. Uh with a speed team, so I don't think we'll be fast enough. Oh, it's level 78 anyway, so it's no no point. A lockout down here. Uh, we have another fusion. Okay, let's try. Let's try Trunda, right? Old school queen, Serena. Mm, and let's see if we can. Um, let's see if we can nuke the. The team. day three because i haven't really been trying a three right i've been trying a a two i'm gonna go ahead and put out some stuff that's a really fast trender mm -mm -mm. right i see so she just takes cfi and nearly takes duchess on the aoe and pretty much leads to Dutch is being killed there. Mm. I mean, even the AoE is doing great. And now because we killed Sifi, that AoE is really again. So I don't even think the A2 is their best ability. I think the A3 is better from what we're just seeing there. Uh, let's go do some more testing. Uh, we have Lockout down the bottom. Uh, well, Valkyrie level 54, not interested in that one. Very picky in what teams I take uh, attack, right? Uh, we have uh, this one here. We have Sifi there, so it's probably faster. I'll try this one. Mm, ideally, we're taking on like super, super tanky teams. Mm. So let's go ahead. I'm going to sheep him. Play it safe, Grim. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we've got the A3. Takes out pretty much nearly everyone. Swift Perry save monkey there. Mm. Now it's a case of just waiting for the cleanup crew. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, okay, we have another one here. I was trying to choose our attack. Let's see if the back-to-back -back cycles are pretty useful. Because a full reset can be quite good. I mean, that pretty much just saves you bringing in Kaima, right? Mm. I got a head to protect him there. Mm -mm. See, like one fifty to seventy k there. Mm -mm. Let's not use ally attack because we're just gonna kill. Otherwise, I want to see if we can just go straight back to back. Aoes, I'll take the turn meter though. Why not? 
Alright, just here. Honestly, I'm really impressed. I think it's a top tier new canal. Queen Eva, top tier. For sure, she's definitely up there now. If you've got Queen Eva, you don't have many nukas to choose from. She's up there with Monkey for sure. Uh, right, let's show you the build then and show you what's going on. As you can see, there's a couple of empowered champions here. He's got a very nice account. So this is our Queen Eva then. Uh, these are the stats we're coming with right now. We have 7,000 attack, which is quite modest. 82% kill rate, so she needs uh like 85 so we're a little bit under so we should be 85 krill great that's my mistake there with the build um then we've got 328 uh krill damage as well which is pretty pretty nice a speed of 235 i do feel like right now like the meta is kind of more pushing towards like fast fast snooker especially with live arena and this is generally the style of build that i'd go for for live arena if anything, I'd probably want another 15 speed on her for like gold free. If you was going to use her that high, I don't know if she's very viable up in gold free because obviously, um, I don't think this account's up in gold free, but mine is up in gold free, so I don't know if it would be super super viable up there. Um, mm, so it'll be interesting. And I've sort of with Live Arena trying to film with Live Arena, it's like trying to take her in at the right times, which could be a bit annoying. But I think she's definitely an option to take towards the end of your teams if you see a monkey there. And that is probably the point where I take her as the last pick, right? The last pick is the way you want the flex spot within your team uh, if you could take and if you've got the right setup around her. So, yeah, that would be super, super cool. Uh, really nice stats there. So, obviously, we've got a attack, crocker damage, and attack ring. So, we have got Merciless will give us 10% attack on top. Uh, we've got Cruel and Savage, so we're ignoring 30% defense, which is super, super nice. Then we're coming with Cruel with damage, attack chest, and speed boots. Uh, for the Blessing for Arena, I have gone with Harvest Cast, which is pretty much what I take on most of my Nukas now, depending on the team setup as well, because I think the team setup is quite important. So right now, she's getting a 1.5 increased damage for each uh, debuff on her so each buff on her so if necrid puts three buffs on her that's going to be of a four point uh four point five percent extra damage on her right which is quite huge you obviously want to come in for that uh level six at some point as well so if you're going to build it just to be a campaign farmer though obviously you can lower the critical rate even more uh so you can add the 15 with this and that'd be pretty fine uh but i think she's much better than that now these are the masteries that I choose to go with on my Queen Eva because we've got Shield Breaker because on how meta shield champions are right now. Uh, we've got Ruthless Ambush. We have got um, Where Will of Death to increase the speed. Now we've put Optimistic here because we are using the Fusion. E places a decreased stun. So this will give me additional 12% uh, damage in the arena um so yeah and it can't go any higher than that so like for where well, you've got five or six five in a wave doesn't really matter right so um i think for me it's stronger than slayer wrath right now if i'm honest let me know down in the comments what you if you agree with me about that or not then we've got kill stroke then we've got mythical and then house masher obviously and then we've got this one here as well so yeah these are my abilities now Hammer Smasher is a funny one because she does ignore quite a bit of ignore defense, but for the A1 and the AOE, I would take Hammer Smasher as the tier 6 option. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, I don't think Flawless would be any good, uh, and I think it would be a waste of her A3. So there we are. Um, there is my champion showcase on Queen Eva. What do I think of her now? Top quality Nuka. Is, if she's sitting in your vault, go pull her out. Honestly, go pull her out. Uh, if you haven't got many nukas available, Queen Eva, she's your queen. Yeah, so she is now the new Dark Queen of Arena. So there we are. There's my, there's my personal opinion on her. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my video. It does really help me um, and support the channel. Uh, I've been Grand Reaper. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching to the end. Peace.